Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at two different ways that we can find the equation of a line to model a situation and we're going to consider some data on smoking. So first we're going to take two points and find the equation of a line by hand and the next thing we'll do is find a linear regression using the calculator. What we can see from this graph is that the data for certain years and the percentage of U.S. adults that smoke is approximately linear and it is decreasing. So that we can work with smaller values, we're going to let x equals zero represent the year 1965. Based on that, what we can see is that 1974 would represent an x value of nine since it's nine years after 1965. To find the equation of the line by hand, let's choose these two points representing the values for 1974 and 2005. We know our first step is to find the slope of the line. So we take the difference in our y values divided by the difference in our x values. In this case, we get a negative 0.52. To interpret this, what this means is that the percentage of U.S. adults that smoke is decreasing by about 0.52% every year. We can either use the point slope form of a line or the slope intercept form of a line, which I prefer. So we'll go ahead and do that. So replacing m in y equals mx plus b with our negative 0.52, we get this equation. We can replace the x and y with either of the two points that we used to find b. If I use the second point, we will replace the y value with 20.9 and the x value with 40 and solve for b. We will get a b value of 41.7. So the final equation of the line that we're going to use is y equals negative 0.52x plus 41.7. Now that we have an equation to model the situation, let's use it to determine what percent of U.S. adults smoked in 2015. Since 2015 is 50 years after what we called our starting point, this is going to give us an x value of 50. Replacing our x value with 50, we come up with an answer of 15.7%. That seems reasonable based on our original data. So now we're going to take an alternate look at finding an equation of a line for this situation using linear regression on the calculator. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and I want you to follow along on your calculator and do the same steps. In order to input the values in the calculator, we're going to hit the stat button and then edit. The x values will go in list 1 and the y values will go in list 2. When you finish plugging in values, your last few points should look like this. We now have a couple more steps in order to see our graph. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our plot is on. So we're going to hit the y equals button. And we want plot 1 to be on, so we're going to arrow up, hit enter, scroll down and ensure that plot one is highlighted like such. The next thing we need to do is to set a window. So we're gonna to go to the window button and we wanna think about the x values that we put in. We wanna choose something smaller than our smallest x value and larger than our largest x value. So remember our x values represented years. We started with zero, we ended with 47. So a good window might be negative 10 to 50. Our y values represent the percent of adults that smoked. Our smallest value is 19.7 and our largest was 42.4. So a good window might be from 15 to 45. Now when we hit graph, we should see our points and we get something that looks like this. Now we can find our linear regression. So we are going to again go back into STAT, 
This time arrow right to the calculate functions and we want to choose the one that looks like our linear regression, that linreg. And we're just going to continue to hit enter until we get that regression. And you should get something that looks like this. And let's go ahead and round our values to two decimal places. Now we have a second equation to model this situation that included all of the points that we had instead of just the two that we chose the first time around. And let's say we want to use this equation to determine in which year will the percent of adult smokers in the U.S. be down to only 10%. So remember the percentage were our y values, so we're going to go ahead and replace y with 10 and solve. So we'll go ahead and start by subtracting 40.82 from both sides. And lastly, we'll go ahead and divide both sides by negative 0.5 to isolate the x. And we get a value of about 61.64. So remember our x values represented years since 1965. So adding this value to 1965, a good answer here might be that mid to late 2026 is when the percentage of adult smokers in the U.S. will be down to only 10%. I hope you have found this video helpful. Thank you.